Tonight on Newsbeat, Uber is making it easy for busy Baton Rouge residents to eat their next meal. It's football season, but LSU basketball coach Will Wade is quietly racking up top recruits. And a child has accused her principal of locking her in a closet at a local school. This and more, Newsbeat starts right now. Hello and welcome to Newsbeat. I'm Reggie Chapman filling in for Nadine Abusada. And I'm Abby Rocha. Thank you for joining us. LSU PD has arrested Kaysen Maggio for his involvement in a fight on the parade ground Saturday during a tailgate that went viral on Twitter. The video depicts two men throwing punches, one wearing a plaster cast on his forearm. Maggio, who is not an LSU student, was arrested for aggravated battery this afternoon for striking a man and breaking several bones in his face. Maggio will be booked in the East Baton Rouge Parish Prison. Laurel Oaks Charter teachers told investigators they heard a child screaming somewhere in the school and searched until they found a five-year-old girl trapped in the cafeteria closet. The girl told investigators Principal Safiq Sum Sidin some would lock her in a closet if she was bad and cut the lights if she screamed. She also said the closet was nasty and gross and had spiders, roaches, and trash bags and paint buckets inside. Police have issued an arrest for warrant for some Sedin on counts of felony cruelty to juvenile and misdemeanor false imprisonment. Three years after the state closed Estruma High School, it is officially open again. Estruma was shut down as a part of the state's recovery school district program intended to take over fixed failing schools. Now the school has about 400 freshmen and sophomores enrolled and is expected to add juniors and seniors in the future. Class has been in session since August 1st, but the official ribbon-cutting ceremony for alumni administration took place last night. Beginning today, getting food delivered in Baton Rouge can be as easy as calling an Uber. Download the Uber Eats app for free, place an order, and wait for a delivery. It's as easy as that. You can use the code TRYEATSBR for free delivery during Uber's first week launch. We placed an order here at our own studio, and it took about 30 minutes to have food delivered from Essen Lane, which is eight miles away from our location. Florida Governor Rick Scott visited portions of Florida today hit hardest by Hurricane Irma. This on the same day that six Florida nursing home residents were found dead or died after losing power in the storm. Investigators believe the deaths may be a result of air conditioning loss. Irma claimed the lives of nearly two dozen in the United States, plus an additional 40 in the Caribbean. Ten million people are still without power along the eastern coast. LSU's new mascot is celebrating today, or at least his fans are. Mike got to experience his first Saturday night in Death Valley from the Habitat last weekend, and now he's experiencing his first Bayou birthday. Mike was born on this day last year and spent the first 11 months of his life at a sanctuary in Florida before his well-publicized move to Baton Rouge. Happy birthday, Mike. College freshmen have more than just books on their minds. Tiger TV's Morgan Riggs tells us how to avoid that infamous freshman 15. According to the Washington Post, only 10% of new students actually gain the freshman 15. Weight gain can be attributed to eating larger portions in the dining hall, binge drinking, heavy snacking, more stress, and less physical activity. Uh, I think my eating habits have changed since I started college, mainly because I'm not getting the same home-cooked meals that I used to get when I was at home. Popular places for students to eat around campus include Nukes, Louie's Cafe, Raising Cane's, and Wiener Schnitzel. With so many convenient and cheap places to eat, it can be hard for students to make sure that they are eating a well-balanced diet. A typical dinner uh, is grab-and-go, fast food, only Chick-fil-A. However, students do have healthier options to choose from in the student union. One of these options is On The Go. On The Go offers fresh and healthy options such as sandwiches, salads, and cold pressed juices from the Big Squeezy. A popular item from On The Go is the acai bowl, which is made to order fresh every day. Ways to prevent the freshman 15 include eating breakfast, practicing portion control, and exercising regularly. For Tiger TV, I'm Morgan Riggs. As Jim Rohn once said, take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. 
After the break, Apple unveiled its newest products in its keynote address yesterday. We'll tell you more about the new iPhone. Stay with us. Old and in with the new for most new users for iPhones. Ten years after Apple released its first iPhone, the tech company unveiled its newest models at its keynote address yesterday. The iPhone 8 will include a faster processor and improved camera and wireless charging technology. The iPhone 10 kills the home button in favor for an edge-to-edge -edge screen. It will also have facial recognition ability. But with new tech comes a higher price. The iPhone 8 will cost $700, while the larger 8 Plus for $800. The 10 will come in for one grand. It may be football season, but LSU men's basketball coach Will Wade is making some noise with his latest signing. Wade already had a commitment from 2018 five-star Baton Rouge guard Javante Smart, and now he's got another blue chipper. Five-star power forward Nas Reed commit to the Tigers last night, giving Wade two five-star commits for the 2018 class in just two months. Scout.com has the Tigers' 2017 class rated 16th best in the country, and their 2018 class ranked 7th. An art museum in downtown's neighborhood is attracting a lot of attention. Tiger TV's Mary Durab has more on the story. Downtown, you'll discover an arrangement of bright, bold, and beautiful compositions. It started as a project that I funded. It maintained, I mean, I maintained the funding to keep it going for the three or four years that it went on. However, uh, we did have, um, we did participate with the mayor's office. Uh, they had a summer youth employment program, so that enabled us to do, to use the money uh, to do more murals and at the same time um, introduce art to the students that uh, participated. We did that for two years. Located on the corner of Myrtle Street and Eddie Robinson Senior Drive, these murals are a hot spot for Instagram-worthy pictures. All, all this art that you see now is different. I mean, we've had numerous of uh, murals up here. You know, artists that come from all over the world. Because we first started this, we put it on Facebook and it went viral. And every artist in the world wanted to come here. Like those guys there. They are from... Uh, Berlin, they from Germany. The guy back there, he was from uh, Australia. The guy here was from California. The guy here, he was from Brazil. And uh, I didn't have it from Czech Republic and everywhere. Due to a lack of funds, Dr. Harris has permanently closed the museum, meaning that there will be no new additions of murals. However, it is still open to the public, so if you're lucky enough, you can catch Mr. Diesel close by and ask him to unlock the building for you. To contact Mr. Diesel about hosting an event in the building free of charge, you can reach him at 225-442-2603. Experiencing diversity is an important component of any education system. Alexia Seropoulos checks in on LSU students who are immersing themselves in a new culture. Can seamlessly fit into the LSU community. I'm studying landscape architecture and the LSU has one of their greatest landscape program in the nation. I'm a chemical engineering undergrad student and this, I'm a junior. These particular international students are comfortable around LSU. They are serious about their major and cannot wait to apply their knowledge through their future career paths. I really like to go to Eureka. It's a fantastic area where to go. Like, it has an awesome gym actually. Um, I like rock climbing even though I don't do it much but I love it. International students. I'm Alex Diotropoulos from Tiger TV. International students involved on campus, Hatcher Hall is the place for questions on the transition process to LSU. After the break, we'll tell you about a barber with an eye for lineups. This is Newsbeat. Are you ready to feel uncomfortable? A barber in China, Sheng Zhu Wu, says in 40 years of shaving eyeballs, he has never caused an injury. Shu Wu uses a straight razor to clean debris and ulcers off of the eye to prevent bacterial infections. This was a common practice in the early 20th century, but has since been phased out in favor of safer methods and better hygiene. Now, Abby, uh, for me, I'm too scared to get LASIK surgery, so this is a no-go. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a no for me. That's dead. All the way dead. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today's evening edition of Newsbeat. For more of our content, visit LSUNow.com. 
And you can follow us on social media at LSU Tiger TV. I'm Abby Rocha. And I'm Reggie Chapman. Thank you so much for watching.